Oh, I've got a caller. It's our mate Weta from Tokoroa. Kia ora, Morena Weta. How are you? Oh, kia ora, Sean. Kia ora, Sean. How are you going? I'm going good. Good. Just uh, got up, had, uh, started listening. Good. And what's got you going? Why have you rung in? So I was just having a look at the uh, on the World Medical Council yeah. on Facebook. Why? And uh, there's this, because there's some new information that's just come out. But who there's are the World Medical document. Council? Where are they just a Facebook page? Uh, it's a bunch of uh, doctors, uh, doctors, and they post their new findings. <coughs> so yeah. there's a document called Document X, and Ooh, it links. Sounds exciting. It links uh, the New Zealand government and all the governments around the world to yeah. the World Economic Forum. And where's Document and X they, from, Weta? Who wrote Document uh, doc- X? Uh, it was uncovered by Dr. David Greenberg. Yeah. Where was it From uncovered? Latvia. Where was it uncovered? Did he find it under a park bench somewhere, or did he dig it up, or what? I, uh, I think I think it was from a whistleblower. Oh, where? Where was the whistleblower from? Uh, the whistleblower would have been from a government. A government. Let's not get too specific. Let's not bother about which government or where. But anyway, okay, and I who wrote the document? Experience. Who wrote the document that the whistleblower from the unspecified government gave to this group of doctors it's, who've got a Facebook page? It's from the World Economic Forum. Oh, really? Jacinda Ardern and the government are part of it. They are they're All paying right. the police. Well, how do you know that? The doctors. Yeah. How it, do you know it's that? It's written in this document. It's written in the document. And who wrote the document? Uh, it's from the World Economic Forum. And who in the, at the World Economic Forum wrote the document? I don't know. Maybe uh, a transcript. Look, maybe writer. you need to come back when you do know. All right. Well, I've got a first-hand uh, experience. Well, of, fair, of the World Economic fair, Forum? No, get this about uh, the vaccine and heart attacks. Have you had a heart attack as a result of having the vaccine? Because that would be the so, only first-hand experience you could have of that if it had happened to you. So... My my neighbour, my neighbour. No, 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 no. That's not. A, that's a secondhand experience. Where do you got it wrong? Oh, secondhand. Well, my my neighbour, uh, he's got a workmate, and uh, he's got his workmate's cousin down in Wellington. <laughs> uh, he, he, You've done the classic, Weta. Oh, you could drive a truck through it, mate. Hey, more importantly, Weta. Hey, I'm really glad you're up at this time in the morning. I think that shows things. How's the job hunt going, mate? Oh well, I've um, I've been too busy. Too Doing busy. what on the on the interweb? Yeah, well, it's it's important to educate yourself on this stuff. Yes, I don't disagree with that statement. But but you need to get a job, mate. No, and, I, and things I like this might seem le- might hand. seem less important to you. Well, I, I could argue that I am doing a job. What? I am I am helping. I'm I'm doing my own research and I'm helping to spread the you're word. You're not doing research. Educate. You're just reading reading rubbish on the internet, Weta. I'm sorry. But how how can you not trust some something called the World Medical Council? Because <laughs> it's a called the World Medical Council. No, I just talked to a professor of medicine they called Des Gorman. You should listen to the interview, mate. We'll oh, have it up today. Uh, yeah, but, so, look, uh, if you're not going to go out and get a job gagged. or do anything he's, useful with your I life today... I think he's being gagged. I know you've got... I think inter- Dorman is being gagged. No, Des pretty well tells me and comes on whenever he wants. I don't think he's gagged. And and, and their families are being threatened. Really? By the, by, really? By Name the one family... They're being paid that, off by look, the government. Yeah, Weta, Weta, when did you last take uh, serious... Doctor, when did you last take doctor recreational doctor on the World drugs, Medical Weta? Council said so. When did you uh, last have recreational drugs? What? Well, if you're going to say that weed is a drug, weed is not a drug, it's a plant. So that's today, this morning, or last night? I, well, every day because it's, it's, it's a... Yeah, it's so, a Weta, look, I, look I, I, like I'm not your dad or your mum, but just a few lifestyle hints, right? Get off the gear. You don't actually sound... Like you're 100% gone yet. I'd get off the gear. 
look for a job, do something positive and spend less time on the, in, on the internet, apart from listening Sean, to the platform, we, because I know, cannabis, I know we are improving your, your life. Yeah. Cannabis will open your mind and open your eyes to the truth. Okay. So we actually have confirmed that you're a doper from Taikaroa, Weta. I, 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 don't, I don't take dope. Okay. What's dope? More well, marijuana. Oh yes, but that's a, that's not a drug. That's a medicine. Well, so what 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 disease have you got? Oh, I got a sore sore back. Yeah. Okay. Try a Panadol, mate. It's, um, that is Weta from Tokoroa, who I do love talking to. But I do want him to get a job and get off the gear. Would be a great idea. Um, <laughs> I'll read some more texts. You see, from the sublime to the ridiculous with Weta. Sean, Weta is clearly a plant and a piss taker, but it's amusing listening to you extract the Michael from him. Cheers, Adam. What do we think? Do we think Weta's real? No, we don't think Weta's real. We think Weta's a have. Yeah, OK, Weta's a have. But he's quite funny, have. If someone's having me on, I quite enjoy it. Sean, is this Weta? Maybe it's Carl. Maybe Carl is Weta. Carl, we want to text. Carl's texted in, and it's not him, all right? Did Carl's text come at the same time? Well, it would prove nothing. He could be sending the text while he's talking to me on the phone. I want to see Carl and Wetter in the same room. <laughs> um, Sean, is this Wetter call a genuine or are you guys giving us a bloody good laugh? Either way, really entertaining, awesome show today. You and your team have knocked it out of the park today. Cheers, Brett. Uh, thank you, Brett. And look, even if Ben hasn't been, still I don't think he's got the enthusiasm on the weather report just right yet. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. I thought he'd love getting the weather. I thought he'd see it as the big break. I'm not sure that he really appreciates just how generous I've been letting him, let him read the weather. Um, <coughs> Sean, it's Jacinda here. I heard you talk about potholes. Sean, it's a very complicated situation. The war in Ukraine has held up a lot of the supplies to fix them. It didn't help that National spent nine years doing nothing. I absolutely refute the premise that we're doing nothing. Things are dire out there outside Aotearoa. We have the best potholes in the world. Remember, we had a referendum on pot and the people decided they didn't want it. We're just doing what the people want. Nā mihi. That's definitely not the Prime Minister. Weta is actually Ken from the People's Republic of Kenistan. Sean, I've, I live near Tokoroa. Do you want me to pick up old mate Wetter and put him in a pothole so he's useful, free of charge? I need to, I need to borrow a, a spit mask and a straight jacket. Um, <coughs> uh, Sean, this, I love this text from Paul. Amazing, actors appointed an MP to a position that they actually know and understand something about. Labor should take a leaf out of their book and appoint Mahuta as Minister of Nepotism and Corruption. Oh, that's a bit pointed. Sean, what a brilliant call from Weta. I'm in stitches about his first-hand experience, um, and which quickly became what probably is 10th hand. Cheers, Rich. Look, if Weta, if Weta is someone acting as Weta, they're doing a brilliant job. They are doing a brilliant job of being a complete wastrel who's fallen down the conspiracy theory anti-vax um, pothole. I'd say Weta is a university-educated, pro-vaccination, government-loving millennial who's realised he can use you to ridicule the freedom movement as a bunch of thickos. I don't know. I don't know. And look, does it matter? It's great theatre. It's good entertainment. There are people like Weta out there. I know. They come up to me in the bloody street all the time. Um... I have a cousin just like Weta, laugh out loud. I want to know from anyone in Tokoroa, do you know someone called Weta? Is there a guy called Weta in Tokoroa? Right? Maybe we can get to the bottom of this. At least someone says Weta is honest. 